Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're well. So today I am filming my favourites video. Last time I filmed a favourites video, you guys really liked it because I did it try on style. So again, I thought I would come back and do the same thing, try on the favourites I talk about this month. And yeah, you can at least see how they work on my skin. And as per usual, well, as I did in the last video, at the end of the video, I'll give you a favourite that's not my typical beauty favourite. So that could be anything from a book to music to polish, whatever it is, but it's just not my typical makeup stuff yeah let's get into it and uh, let's see what products I've been really enjoying this month okay guys so I have quite a few products in front of me right now that I really wanted to talk about uh, some products are products I've mentioned last month because if I really like it I'm the kind of person that will just keep using it I will try and obviously include different products each time but there's some staples that you'll probably just see me using all the time which I really really enjoy uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually start off with this that I brought, I brought, I bought from Primark. Now yeah, a Primark beauty product is in my favourites this month. Now this is, I don't really know what it is, it's a pure priming glow essence and I got this a few weeks ago and I've been using it constantly and I've only used like I haven't actually used that much of it but I have actually been using it quite a lot I'm gonna shake it up a bit but it's basically like um what's that what's the is it like the Fasali drops I think it's supposed to be Primark's you know take on the Fasali drop but I have to say I really do like this it's got a it's got quite a sweet scent to it as well and when you'll see it as I put it on, it comes off as you can see quite pink on my skin, but it also has slight shimmer to it, but you can't see the shimmer obviously as I'm blending it in. But the reason I really like this is because number one, I was quite surprised that I actually would like it. When I first got this, I thought it was gonna be quite oily on me, but it dries down to a sort of tacky kind of matte feeling on my skin. And I really like that because I have oily skin. So anything that's gonna be, oh, 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 oh. I don't know how Instagram is <laughs> do that where they like drip on their face because quite clearly I can't do that. But yeah, I really like it because it comes out quite tacky once you rub it in. And it, I find that it works quite well as a primer on my skin. So it was a pleasant surprise for me. And if you want to try it out, I'd suggest that maybe you go and uh, do so try it out but i haven't had any reaction to it i haven't um broken out from it or anything like that so for me it's worked really really well and yeah just gives me a slight tackiness on the skin but it dries down matte so very impressed with this and as you can see it doesn't make my skin pink but it does give me a sort of glow to my skin but it's given me a glow without the oil you know and normally i would just go on top of this with my usual primer because obviously I've got oilier skin, so I've got oily combination skin. So I wouldn't find that this would necessarily work for me completely with my oils, but I just really like the way it feels on my skin, so yeah. But today I want to also go in with the other product I've been using for priming. And this is the Primark. Okay, these are both from Primark. I swear this is definitely not sponsored. But uh, this is the Primark Primer Water. And you guys saw me using it in one of my previous videos. And yeah, I had basically brought it back out from my collection because I wanted to kind of, you know, use it up. So I'm just going over that and just using these two together. And I find together they work fine. I mean, I really like the Primer Water because I'm quite that skeptic about Primer Waters. I'm just like, it's just uh, water. Like it's not gonna do anything. But this definitely does leave your skin quite tacky um, to a certain extent, so I quite like it. But both of these products, I wouldn't say are oil controlling. So if you are very oily, then you can't get away with just this. And to be honest, I can't get away with just this for my oils. So I would go in with like, a, something to mattify it more for my oils but for today I'm not going to do that because I'm not going anywhere and I don't need to. I thought I would mention those two primers because for me they were just surprises that you know that I thought worked really well and the primer water is something that I've used previously in the past. I think August's favourites is full of surprises for me. Another surprise is this. Now this is the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. As you may or may not know, Jackie Ina actually did a whole extension range with Too Faced so she collaborated with them to work on some deeper shade ranges for the Too Faced collection in this particular foundation. I have actually tried this foundation before a couple of years ago I believe and I did not like it. I'm sure I I'm sure I did a video 
mentioning how I hated this product because I really did. The shade I got in the past, I can't remember what it was, but it just made me orange and I hated it. And the formula as well for me was very oily and I just did not like it whatsoever. So I don't know what it is, but when she did her shade range ex extension, I was sent this to review for Brown Beauty Talk, which I'm actually going to do as well. So definitely check out Brown Beauty Talk's website down below. But I was sent this for, to review and I've been using it for this past month. And I have to say, I, for some reason, really, I'm not hating it. <laughs> Now, is it my most favorite foundation ever? No. Is this the best foundation for my skin type? No. But compared to how I used to feel about this foundation, it's like completely different. When I first tried this out, it was a foundation which I thought was just too oily for my skin type. By the way, the shade I have got in this is Spiced Rum. So whilst I'm like telling you about my history with this foundation, I'm just gonna apply it as well. I normally just apply three dots of the foundation onto my skin and then just blend it out so as i was saying this foundation in the past was just way too oily for me but it might just be my skin has changed slightly from then or i don't know whatever it is this foundation seems to work a lot better for me now than it has done in the past I don't find it to be as greasy as it was back then when I first tried it and it seems to last a lot longer on my skin so it just might be my skin might have changed slightly but I don't really think it has to be honest I think my skin's the same so I don't really know what it is but or maybe I just tolerate the foundation a lot better because I know back in the days I used to just love like a proper mattifying foundation and now I'm not I, I still really like mattifying foundations, like proper mattifying ones. I love those still. But I'm also into more luminous foundations as well. So maybe that's why I've kind of changed my mind on this one. To me, it works really well. It does last. I mean, I can't get away with not touching up this foundation at all. So <laughs> for me, I would have to touch up in terms of powdering my face throughout the day because you know, my oils do come through with this. I'd say my oils are fine for about four hours with this foundation. And then I do start feeling a bit oily, but it's nothing crazy, you know, until the end of the day. That's when I proper get issues with the foundation. But I just like the way it looks on my skin. It's got that full coverage or full enough coverage, if that makes, if that makes sense. Like it's not a proper full coverage foundation, but it just gives you enough coverage to, you know, make it look like skin, but still, you know, it's covered. And I really quite like it. As you can tell, it's like those three pumps I did, as you can still see on my eyes, I still have my hyperpigmentation there. So it's not covering it up completely, but it's buildable. Now, the only reason I wouldn't personally build this up is because of the formula. Like I said, it's not the best for my oilier skin. So I tend to just stick to the three pumps and that's it for me because I just don't want it to get, you know, too crazy around here. And I don't want to feel too uncomfortable with it on my skin. Now, in terms of the shade range, I know Jackie Aina extended the shade range, but the one that was the best matched for me was Spiced Rum. And I just don't think it suits me as well as... I thought it might have done. I don't know, but I mean, I can get away with it. Now, alongside the foundation, I am going to talk about the concealer again because I still have been using this this past month. I've used other concealers, but this one is one I have definitely been going to. Um, I really do like it. I mentioned this in last month's favorites as well. Uh, I really do like it for under my eyes, but for anywhere else, I find that I get really, really greasy with it so i tend to like not really like to put it in my t-zone and i just kind of like to keep it under my eyes because if i put it in my t-zone where i get oiliest i find that this definitely makes me even more oilier because this concealer is definitely more of a hydrating and i find that when i do put it in my t-zone i get very very oily very quickly and it feels quite tacky but apart from that i really do like it for under my eyes so that's where it's going to stay under my eyes but i'm actually going to this is gonna be a bit cheeky this isn't a concealer that i'm uh is that's in my favorites but i literally just bought it 
and I don't know where my other concealer is that I want to put on today so I'm going to try out the life proof concealer well I've tried it out once before but this is a sleek life proof concealer so I'm actually going to use this I will be using it properly in another video um, I might make a full video on this particular concealer uh, myself so so the shade that I've actually got in this one is hot mocha and then I've got the shade Cafe Macchiato as well in a sleek one. So I'm going to mix the two together. As I said, I will be doing a proper review on these, but I'm still testing them out. So apologies. For my face powder, I have actually still been using my Huda Beauty powder. That is one I definitely keep going to. I do really like it. The shade I've got is Cinnamon Bun. I did mention this in my previous favourites as well. So still really like it and have been using this like nearly daily. But I also really have been trying to work through the Laura Mercier powder. And I thought I would mention this one today as well. And this is the normal regular translucent powder. I do have the other powder, which is the deep powder so I have sometimes been mixing these two together because this powder by Huda Beauty to me is more aesthetically pleasing if that makes sense like it, it looks really beautiful on this face you know whereas the Laura Mercier powder is like to me it looks good but it can look very cakey at times if you're not careful but it's a proper heavy duty one so this one is for you know when I feel like I'm going to get oily because of my base I bring this one out. The Huda Beauty one is if my base isn't too problematic then I would be comfortable with just using that. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier powder and that one is going to go on my t-zone area I'm gonna place the Huda Beauty powder now under my eyes and just kind of all over as well Okay, now I am all powdered up. Now I don't really have a brow pencil to really talk about this month. Nothing really stood out to me. I'm just gonna use this brow pencil from Revlon and it's the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil, that's what it says on there. Um, I don't particularly like this that much. It's very waxy, um, but I'm just using it. What I have actually been typically going for um, as well, because my brow pencil actually finished, I've also been just going into a like chocolate brown or dark brown eyeshadow for my eyebrows as well and that's worked quite nicely so brows are now done now I'm going to move on to my eyes I am going to talk about this palette today now I have not actually talked about this palette on camera but I have actually been using the shadows a lot in videos where I'm not really doing my makeup so my crime videos for example I definitely use this palette quite a bit. And this is the I Heart Revolution Violet Palette. I love this palette so much. This is my go-to palette when I want a very simple, maybe purple smoky eye. And I actually like this palette more because I can easily do a, an all matte eye look. And that's what I typically have been doing with this, an all matte eye look really. And maybe a pop of shimmer in the inner corner. But yeah, this I this eyeshadow palette is just dreamy to me. It's so good. It's the kind of colours I've been drawing more towards, as you guys probably have realised, I have been going more towards like purple tones this kind of summer and this has it all for me. So yeah, I was a bit surprised because I thought, you know, I might have mentioned like the ABH Norvina palette, but if I'm being honest, as much as I really like it, I haven't reached for it as much as I thought I may have done. And also the very much palette by l'oreal which i did do a video on i will link it in this video for you but that palette as well i have really enjoyed using that palette and i do like the mattes in it but not necessarily the shimmers but the one i have truly been going to and i have to obviously be honest is this one and yeah even though i haven't talked about it on camera it is it is my go-to it's my love for this month i've been using this palette for about two months now and i haven't mentioned it at all but I was just using it in the background. I was just like, wait, I keep dipping in this palette, even if I'm using other palettes. Well, I have to talk about this one now, I really do. So let's just create an eye look, which I typically have been creating with this palette. So we're going to do quite a purple smoky kind of eye, like I have normally been doing, just so you guys can see what I mean by this palette. Now, the first shade I'm gonna go into is called this, it's called Vaude, like Vaudeville. 
I have no idea guys but it's this shade right there that's a really lovely shade for transitioning on like my skin tone so I've really been liking that can you see it's such a gorgeous shade just for using to transition and this eye look that I've been <laughs> I've been creating I hardly like I don't really try and make it look all neat or anything it's quite a messy smoky eye nothing special you know colors are so easy to use that when I'm using when I'm doing my eye look with this palette I just don't really need to think too much about it do you know that you have a particular palette sometimes where because you use it so often you know exactly your routine with it. Does that make sense? And this is the palette for me. So the next shade I'm gonna take is the shade Wine, which is this color right here. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. And just blend that in to deepen it up. So this is basically a look where I just deepen up a lot of purple eyeshadows. I'm not gonna lie, that's all I'm doing really. And I'm gonna take that purple again, that wine shade, and I'm gonna bring it under my eyes. Just kind of smoke out under my eyes a bit. Just to quickly make sure that my edges are blended, I'm going to take this shade called Idolize. So we're just gonna take another brush and just use that to kind of blend out the edges slightly. So I'm just taking the shade Conjure which is this lighter shade here and again doing the same thing to the edges just slightly i'm going to take this shade here called desired which i really like to place all over my lid just pack it down i don't think i've ever shown you an all matte look on my channel before so this is nearly all matte <laughs> i'm going to put some shimmer in my inner corners but this is basically an all matte look the thing I really like about this palette is that it's letting me play with colour depth. Like these are just different shades of purple and you're able to create a really nice look from it. So I'm just going to take the purple again, this purple here, and I'm going to smoke that under my eyes as well. I feel like I'm being a bit extra today because normally, <laughs> normally I just have like one or two shades on my eyes, but let's be a bit more extra today. Then I'm now gonna take this darker shade right here, which is called Ex Expedite. I'm gonna use that to kind of smoke out my outer V. It works fine. Now the next thing I do is I will take a shimmer, and it could be any shimmer in this palette really, uh, but the shimmer I've been enjoying playing with is this one called Amethyst right here. And I place it in my inner V and slightly bring it up onto the lid, slightly. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this liner. This is the Renaissance Flick Liner, which I've been really enjoying from Revolution Beauty. So it's the liner I've been going to for the past month. And I'm just going to take that and do a thin line, if I can. I always say a thin line and it never becomes a thin line, but you know. So we're just going to do try and do a thin line, but no wing. So I didn't do a wing, but I kind of brought the liner down in my inner V. Then I just take my mascara, which you guys know I use, the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. Love this mascara a lot. So that's my eyes done. Hopefully you guys like it. I really love the way it looks. I think it's just such an easy look. All matte eyeshadows, if you've got like different depths, you can really create some really good looks with them. And especially with the same color, you know? I don't know, I just like experimenting. So yeah, this is kind of what I've been doing a lot of my eyes off camera. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is the rest of the face. So I'm just gonna bronze up. I wonder if you can guess which bronzer I'm gonna use. The Fashion Fair bronzer is like still winning. Now for blusher, you guys have seen me use this. This is the Maxi Blush from Rimmel. And yep, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. The shade I've got is Wild Card and really 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 like this blusher at first i thought it would be a bit too pink for me but it actually works quite nicely on my skin tone and uh yeah i've been liking it especially for a drugstore br like blusher i know they have other shades in this range and i don't even think the other shade would suit me but this one works quite nice 
Okay, I've just put like way too much blusher on, but you know what? We're just gonna live that life today. We are living that life today. Right, the next thing we are going to talk about is some highlighter. Now, I've been loving these Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters. I realized that they actually came out with quite a few new shades recently. I saw them in Boots and Super Drugs. Like, they have like one called Diamond, Diamond Glow. They have like loads of different ones. They had about three or four new shades. One of the new shades I actually picked up, which I haven't really tested out yet. It's this one and it's the shade Sparkling Citrine. And from what I can see, the newer ones are packaged like more thinly than the original ones. Oh, I've just realized. So the newer ones are, oh, the newer ones have, for some reason, this one says it's Chrome Extreme. The one I was gonna talk about today, which is the shade Molten Bronze, this one. This one just says Chrome, just a metallic highlighter. This one is an extreme highlighter. I didn't really, I didn't even notice that before. I probably won't use this one today because it hasn't been a favorite. But I, oh wow, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's extreme. So this shade is Sparkling Citrine. Wow, I am intrigued. Can't wait to try that one out. But today we are talking about this one. This is, as I said, the bronze one, and it's just the regular range. And let me just swatch them beside each other so you can kind of see the difference. Can you see that? This is definitely more toned down, but I've been loving this bronze shade because for me, it just works quite nicely. I don't really need it to, to do more than what it does because I, even though I just bought this really extreme one, I tend to really go for just more natural kind of highlighters that just give me like a glow from within. And I also love the fact this one is a bronze tone. So it works quite nicely on my skin tone as well, as you can see right there. And yeah, that's that highlighter. I love, love, love this. For lipsticks, I've had quite a few lipsticks. I've had like lip glosses I've been really enjoying. I've actually been enjoying like the NYX Butter Glosses this month, definitely, because I don't know, I've been really going towards glosses anyway. You guys know that I like a good gloss. But one that I recently discovered because it came out this month and I thought I would talk about it is the Patricia Bright lipstick. And you know what, I'll be honest, when I first tried this, I thought, do I really like it? Because I don't know, to me, it didn't really do what I really wanted it to. Um, I thought it made me look a bit sickly, but it is quite nice. So I thought I would wear it today and show you guys what it looks like on. That's the lipstick on. I really do quite like it. It's quite nice, isn't it? I have been asked if I could find a dupe for this and I don't know. I haven't really searched for one yet, so. I can't tell you that I have found a particular dupe, but that's simply because I haven't looked in my collection for it. So I'm sure there is probably a dupe out there and I'm sure you guys will know. Aside from the Patricia Bright lipstick, I've also been enjoying this Revolution Lipstick in Truth, Liquid Lipstick in Truth. And I've been asked, every time I wear this, people always ask me about what color it is because they say it's a really nice and nude and it's just this. I tend to mix it with a darker color, like a brown. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on top just a little in the center bring a bit of gloss to my lips i think i think it works really well with the patricia bright lipstick as well and then the last lip product i want to mention is this now this one would have gone perfectly with the look i've got on today but i just wanted to wear the colors i've got on now this is a liquid lipstick by kiko and it was from their jelly jungle range which i think they've now put in the cell because this is what i've picked up um about a month or so ago from their sale. And uh, can you see that? It's a gorgeous, can you see how well that would have gone with this look? Beautiful. But it's a gorgeous purple metallic shade and it's like one swipe pigment. So good. The shade, I don't know if I told you, the shade is zero for Rosetto. So yeah, it's a gorgeous shade. And these last so, so long on the lips like they're they dry down matte but i don't find them to be uncomfortable either so yeah i wish i picked up some other colors and i wish they actually had like a like a metallic brown because i think that would have worked really really well this is a witch hazel shine control face mist from the brand botanical lab and i actually picked this up in super drugs and i really like it it's a pro it's not a primer it's a setting spray which is there to help balance sebum and 
calms blemish prone skin i think you can use this like you can use it anyhow you can use it to refresh in your skin you can use it under makeup over makeup i just tend to use it over makeup because you know i do but i've been really enjoying this as my setting spray i think it works really well as a setting spray that just keeps my oils you know at bay for a little bit longer doesn't feel too tight on my skin but i can really just feel it you know doing what it's supposed to do you know okay guys so the last product i'm going to talk about are some nail polishes yes i never talk about nail polishes on my channel but i thought i would for the you know random favorite at the end of the video but the polishes i wanted to talk about are these two now the first one is this this is the se rock the runway polish and it's their gel polishes i think it comes in like these packets like you know that twisty kind of bottle this formula is so good like so good it lasts so well and it gives a really nice like plumping gel effect on your nails really love it and this color is just like one of my favorite red nail polish colors i think ever that i've used because it's so beautiful i really do love it whenever i've got this on i get a comment like oh where did you get your nails done it looks like you did it professionally no it's this and this and this together this is the china glaze fast forward top coat the two of these together match made in heaven i swear this china glaze top coat is so good don't ask me where i've been why I've, it's taken me so long to actually get on board with china glaze top coats i don't even know anything about nail polishes like i don't even know is china glaze still a thing i have no idea i picked this up in tk max that's where i got this one i got this actually from the se advent calendar that they had last year i got it when the advent calendar had reduced from like 50 pounds to 10 pounds so that's where i got this one from each of these bottles alone are 10 pounds so to get a whole advent calendar filled with se nail polishes for 10 pounds i just thought hell yes and i just only started using it this month uh, so i hadn't even used it all this time so pleasantly surprised really really enjoy it okay so i'm using the top coat on my fingernails today i'm not wearing the se polish but i've had these nails painted i do my nails myself i've had them painted since wednesday i think wednesday or thursday and i haven't had i don't have a chip or anything and this is what this does like it just makes my polish last for at least a week without chipping love it so much for me my top coats that i really enjoy sachet vite and this one now like this is definitely up there with my sachet vite let me know what you think about the products i've mentioned down below in the description bar let's have a little discussion let me know what your favorites for the past month were as well were there anything that i mentioned that you also liked this past month let me know and if you did like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you very soon in my next video guys take care and see you soon bye